Good morning. This is Chen Wilson with English Air Inc. from Orlando, Florida. We are in the beautiful Brentwood, Tennessee, currently on a ongoing job site project. I am here with Anton Martin. Hello, Anton. Hello, Chen. Rhiannon. <laughs> How's it going? Absolutely wonderful. It's a beautiful day in Tennessee. Where are we and what are we doing today? What are we looking at? This is a remodel. There's a total gut and a remodel. Um, they wanted something nice, something energy efficient. So we're going to give you a quick tour. Come with me. Watch your step. So what we have here, this is the garage. We have some workers over here. Wave. You got candy camera. <laughs> We're putting in a beautiful Daikin fit air handler. This is going to be a zone system. ERVs, the whole nine yards. Come this way, come this way. We might need a little light as we go into the darkness. Come to the dark side. No, don't come to the dark side. Just come through this room. Watch your step, please. Antoine, what is an ERV? Energy recovery ventilator. On these new houses, they make them super tight. So they don't really breathe. And then you get all these VOCs. A VOC, volatile organic compounds. And they can start to destroy stuff, including your health, not good. So on new construction, we always try to bring in some fresh air. Now watch your step, a couple big steps here. Now we went through a storage area. We're gonna go into what would be his gym. There's a little thermostat wire for the gym. And this is where he's gonna be working out. Probably a little bit like this. <laughs> Hopefully a little harder. And then he will be able to look at mother nature or whoever the mother is out there at the time. <laughs> So that's the gym. Now I took you the unorthodox route. Let me take you the proper route that you would normally come. Do this? fitness areas have certain AC requirements? Uh, if I want to have a gym at my house, what do I need to look out for? <laughs> Fresh air is good for gym. Um, other thing is people like it cold in gyms. So make sure the gym's over designed in relation to, if you have your house normally set to 75, people like to have the gym at 72. Some like it 68. We've got a couple returns here which will end up bringing return down this hallway. A couple little storage rooms. And down here is the man cave. We'll probably end up with big screens here. We're gonna end up doing a wine cellar and stuff like that. And this is another zone. He'll have another zone here on his Daikin Fit system. On this system downstairs, he's got three zones. One for the gym, one for this area, and one for upstairs. That's a bit of upstairs. So you see all the ductwork's done already. Now we're just going to keep rolling and I'm going to take you upstairs. That's one system downstairs. Daikin inverter system, Daikin fit inverter system, three zones, zone system, Daikin fit inverter zone, the best of all worlds. But it gets better. Follow me. Oh, I forgot. We can go this way. I normally don't go this way. I normally go to tradesman's way. So I'm on a leash today because of the microphone. So I can't go too far, but watch your step. What are the advantages of having a zone system? Why would I want one? Energy efficiency. We can keep the gym, as I said, at 72 degrees without having to keep all of downstairs at 72 degrees. This is the main living area. I think they recently put the glass in. We have floor vents, which will end up coming through here. They'll be custom. We also have high ceiling, and we've got our returns up there. Those three big ones. And we've got our supplies right along here. We also have a Daikin fit upstairs. So this area is actually being fed by two systems. A zone system from downstairs, and a, a, di a dedicated system from upstairs. Beautiful design, beautiful design. Designed by English Air. I'm not sure. I think this is another little media room. And we come over to the master bedroom. Master bedroom suite. Now this has its own system as well.
master bedroom suite with a beautiful view. Now this system here is actually a Daikin life system. It's a Daikin life system and it has two ductless units on it and one ducted. So in here is a ducted unit on a Daikin life unit. I think it's like a five ton unit with three fan coils. And that unit's up there. We'll go upstairs and see it. But that feeds this whole suite. So this suite has its own control. If he wants it 68 degrees in here, it could be 68 degrees. If he wants it to get hot and have it 80, he can have it 80. Are there any advantages to having a ductless over a ducted system? Yes. Well, most ducted systems, they say you serve, save 30% instantly by going ductless. Because guess what? This is a ductless unit. It's a one-way cassette. Because now, instead of putting AC into a duct, sending it 10, 15, 20, 30 feet, we're putting AC directly into the space. It saves energy. If, I don't care how well insulated your ducts are. If you take 55 degree air and put it into a 150 degree attic, send it 50 feet, you're gonna lose some energy efficiency by the time it comes out. Why not just stick it straight into the room? One way ducted, duckless cassette, duckless cassette. This is his studio here. Not his studio, his, uh, I think this will be an office. Follow me. That's one duckless and we have another duckless over here. Here's the other ductless unit. These are uh, beautiful units. I actually have these ductless in my house as well. Um, I love them. One way Daikin ductless cassette on a VRV Life. It's the way to go. Beautiful. Has its own control. This room can be what they want it to be at the temperature they want. They can have this room at 78, that room at 72. Sounds like a lot of room to cover. How many, how many square feet are we dealing with here? Oh, now you're asking me a question. Um, if I had to guess, I think they're close to somewhere between four and 6,000. Between 4,000 and 6,000. So now we're going upstairs. Upstairs, a Daikin fit system. Two of them actually. Come with me. Maybe you can see that little white box up there. Come around this way. That's a Daikin premium air cleaner on this side. That's an ERV. That'll bring fresh air and help that circulate around the whole house and exhaust some air too. On here, there's a Daikin um, premium air cleaner at the top. Can you see it? There it is. Ah, you got it. Good deal. So. Those are Merv 15. Merv 15 Daikin Premium Air Cleaner. Don't get the airflow restriction, still have the performance. So two systems up here. One system feeds the main area. The other system feeds the three bedrooms, but the three bedrooms are zoned as well. That way, this bedroom can be at 78. This one can be at 72. That one can be at 75. And they'll all be happy. Let's see if, let's go around this way. And we'll look down to the main area. Now you mentioned the Daikin Premium Air Cleaner is a MER 15 and you don't get air restrictions. What's, what's going on there? Well, most people call those and say, oh, I want the best quality filter in my place. And they have a one inch filter. Well, you take a regular system and you put a one inch and you have a one inch filter. Guess what happens? You turn it to a MER 13 or 15, airflow restrictions. And what happens with airflow restrictions? Oh, the light came on. <laughs> with airflow restrictions, they cause your coils a lot of times to run too cold. They cause your motors to run too hard. They'll burn out motors. It will prematurely kill your system. So what kind of filter should I buy? If you have a one inch filter, you want a, the most inexpensive pleated filter. The most inexpensive pleated filter. If you want to go better filtration, you need to get one of those five inch Mer 15. I strongly recommend the Daikin Premium Air Cleaner. Duly noted. Cool. Well, there we are. Brentwood, Tennessee, take us 
eyeball down there. You can see the main room. And it's beautiful. When this house is done, everyone's gonna be so happy. They're gonna be so, so happy. And uh, we'll bring you back when it's done, if they still let us in the door.